please follow our procedures and be sure to use appropriate ESD standards and techniques throughout the process. If these procedures are not followed appropriately, damage to your SAN may occur. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to us directly. Please ensure prior to this video you have a PC or a server that has a DB9 serial port or a USB to DB9 adapter with the appropriate drivers installed. You will also need to have a terminal emulation program on your computer, such as PuTTY or HyperTerminal. There are three types of Equalogic serial cables. The Dell Equalogic Type 1 controller uses serial cable part numbered 95-0444. The Type 2 Dell Equalogic controller uses serial cable part numbered 95-0517. For the purposes of this video, we will use serial cable for all other Equalogic arrays, part number YM61N. The first step of this process is to connect the DB9 end of the serial cable to the back of your server, personal computer, or appropriate adapter. Please verify that the connection is secure, and then begin to tighten the two thumb screws on the DB9 serial cable. Once the cable is connected and secured to your server, PC, or adapter, Take the other end of the serial cable and walk behind your Dell Equalogic array. At the rear of the system, we are going to need to identify the active control module in your Dell Equalogic array. In most cases, you will have to connect the serial cable to the active control module. You can identify the active controller by using the LED panel on each of the controllers. You will see three lights, a PWR, an ERR, and an ACT light. You will need to identify the controller with a green ACT light. This is the active control module. Now we will need to connect a serial cable to the active controller serial port on the Equalogic array. Verify that the connection is secure, and then tighten the two thumb screws on the DB9 serial cable. Verify that the appropriate COM port is being used by your PC or server. Once this port is verified, open your terminal emulation program. You will use the following settings. Baud rate set to 9600. Data bits set to 8. Stop bits set to 1. Parity set to none, and flow control set to none. Once your terminal emulation program is properly configured, hit enter on the screen and you will be prompted with a login prompt. Log into your Equalogic array using your GRP admin account. If you are having any issues connecting to the serial portion of your Equalogic controller, please open a ticket through the Rocket Plus customer portal. Thanks for watching. This has been another video by the Top 10 USA Video Production Team. We look forward to sharing more content with you going forward, so please check out our YouTube channel and please subscribe so that you get notified whenever we release a new piece of content.